Number five. Number five um, has a fraction in it. So I figured that would probably like scare you. So, I mean, I'm still dressed up in Halloween costume, so maybe you are scared. Maybe I'm scared. Okay, so we've got five and a half yards equals how many inches? So we're gonna look in our chart up here. Let me erase these. Look in our chart. We want to find the comparison that compares yards to inches. Yards to inches. This is inches to feet. No. Feet to yards. No. Inches to yards. This one right here. There's where we're going. So I'm going to make a ratio out of that information. 36 inches to one yard. Equals, now I'm going to put this. In my, on my other side of my proportion. It says five and a half yards. Am I gonna put it on the top or on the bottom? Like yards is on the bottom. So we're gonna put five and one half yards on the bottom. Okay. So how do we get from one to five and a half? One to five and a half would be times five and a half. So we're gonna do the same thing to, to the top, times five and one half. So we're gonna do 36 times five and a half. You might be like, wait a minute, how are we gonna do that? Well, you learned how to multiply fractions and mix numbers last year, but we're gonna change it to a decimal. Five and a half is the same as 5.5. .5. So let's do 36 times 5.5. I'm gonna stack mine. We've been practicing this. Okay, five times five is 30, right? Your zero, carry your three. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18. Now, in class, I always say, plop and drop and clean out the top. Plop and drop means plop this killer zero down. Plop and drop that killer zero. It'll kill your math problem if you don't remember that. And then clean out the top. Clean out these little numbers that you carried over. Now we move over to the other five. Five times five is 30, write your zero, carry your three. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18. Okay, now we add that together. That's eight, that's nine, and one. We put our decimal in the correct place. Look, there's only one digit behind the decimal. So we move this over so there's only one digit. Okay, so actually, um, we can drop that zero because it holds no value right there. And we can just put 198, 198 inches. Okay.